Right. Ask Esther McVeigh about universal credit. Mm -hmm. Here's Esther McVeigh when she was Work and Pension Secretary four years ago, appearing on Good Morning Britain. And the massive problems with that, with that uh, which led to a, a surge in people going to food banks. I mean, I find it extraordinary in this country that we could be the sixth richest economy in the world and we have food banks at all, let alone that the numbers using them surged. McVeigh used to be a presenter on Good Morning Britain, so later on, Lorraine Kelly was asked if she remembered her. Lorraine Kelly's here. Do you remember Esther McVeigh from mm. her uh, GMTV days? Of course, McVeigh is now back in Cabinet as Minister for Common Sense. I also have seen the reports in the paper describing me as the Minister of Common Sense, and I appreciate the concept is a difficult one to grasp for the members on the other side of the uh, bench there, but I am committed to delivering common sense decisions. Anyway, the question was, did Lorraine remember Esther? Lorraine Kelly's here. Do you remember Esther not... McVeigh from mm. her uh, GMTV days? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. OK, coming up after half past. So you got on with Esther That's then, so uh, Lorraine? I don't, rem I don't remember, love. I don't remember at all. I really don't. It was an awful long time ago. Oh, I've looked skin girl. She <laughs> no, no, no. thinks me under. All right, we'll leave, <laughs> we'll leave it there. Let's uh, get the news travel away the way you are. What went on between you and Lorraine Kelly? <laughs> well, we used to share a, a dressing room, so and she used to be the program afterwards. And uh, obviously, uh, she used to be partnered with Eamon Holmes, and then I was promoted to be partnering with Eamon Holmes. But she's great, and it was a great show. And it was—I uh, can't believe it. I think it was 20 years ago I did that show, but never mind, it was really good at the time. It was really good oh, she's basically inferring there that you lost in a kind of love war over Amy. <laughs> well, who wouldn't want to fight over Eamon <laughs> Holmes, frankly? What is the truth, Lorraine Kelly, about, love, your, I'm, about I'm, your battle with Esther McVeigh? No, there is, there is no battle. There is no battle. I'm baffled by that, though, because I had my own show since 1992. Yes. And I don't actually think she joined until five years later. There wasn't really, I, I honestly genuinely don't remember her at GMTV because I was doing my own show, so I didn't really, you know, I was sort of on my own and they were all mm -hmm. doing their thing and mm -hmm. she didn't last very long. Um, and I, <laughs> no, I'm only saying, I'm only saying, no, but it was, it wasn't really, it was just, you know what it was? It was Monday morning and I was fed up because I'm fed up with all the toxic political yep. landscape and yep. we deserve better and I think she just, you know, that was the final straw, can I think? Uh, you're very sincere and honest, I've always found. You, you You call things exactly how you see them, but you also want to see the good in people. Sure, yeah. So for you to go that way against I someone, know, I know. it really does make me worry about what Esther <laughs> McVeigh is really like. <laughs> I don't actually think she's... She's just, she's just as bad as all of them, yeah. do you know what I mean? I, I, I do think that. And it's when I watch you in the morning and I get so enraged mm. by how we're going round and round and round in ever-decreasing circles and we're not getting anywhere. We deserve better. So, Obviously, you, you don't hate Esther McVeigh, we've established no, that. No, I don't. Do you think she'd make a good Prime Minister? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of them would. Click here for an episode of Tories standing down at the next general election.